Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Hive. Guys, in this video, I have listed down all the important notes, all the important points on Apache Hive. Let's get started. First of all, what is Hive? Hive gives us an SQL-like interface to query data stored in various databases. If you know SQL, this is the walk in the park for you. What's the reason of using Hive? Uh, because in a case of Apache Hadoop MapReduce, we were working with Hadoop MapReduce and MapReduce we were working with Java and we were writing very complex codes uh, like we, which include mapper class, reducer class, driver class. And uh, just to solve that problem, we got Hive in which we can write the same thing in a very few lines of code in SQL-like statement. Who developed Hive? Answer is Facebook. Behind the scenes, Apache Hive is a very important component of Hadoop ecosystem, so it works on top of Hadoop. What are the prerequisites for installation of Apache Hive, Apache Hadoop and Java? What are different modes of operation? Local mode and MapReduce mode. So when to use local mode? When we have a smaller data set to work with. When to use MapReduce mode? When we, when we have a larger data set to work with. Or when we work with a distributed environment, then we make use of MapReduce mode. What is interactive and non-interactive mode? Interactive mode meaning is working on Hive shell directly. Non-interactive mode means working on a script. And uh, in the case of Apache Hive, we have a script having an extension .hql or .sql. Then we have a Metastore. Metastore is a central repository of Hive metadata. So what is Derby? Embedded Metastore uses this uh, Derby database, RDBMS, stored on a local file system in this mode. Then what's the default location of Hive tables? You find all your tables stored, whatever you have created, all your databases, it is in a user Hive warehouse location. What's the command to print available databases? Show databases. What's the command to print available tables? You can see in that particular database, if you want to uh, list all the tables, then it's a command is show tables. What's the command to create database? Although the, we have a shortcut available, create database database name, but we also can make use of some optional parameters like if not exist, in this case as well. What's the default database? The name of the default database is default itself. What's the command to add comment to database? It's create database, database name, comment, space, double quotes, you can give your comment. And if you want to see that comment, you have a describe command available. Describe command is same as your, of your SQL. If you want to uh, see the schema and structure, and uh, in, in addition to it, you also see the comment over there. Then drop database, how we can drop data uh, database? Drop database, database name, or drop database, if exist, database name. How to create a table? Create table, table name, then specify column name, data types. Then we have a keyword available, row format delimited. And how to uh, separate the uh, columns or fields? We have a fields terminated by, how to separate the lines? Lines terminated by new line, stored as text files. This is a complete syntax of creating table in Hive. Then uh, it's of two types, internal table and external table. In by default, if you don't specify, like if you write a uh, command like create table table name, it's by default internal and it will be stored in a user hive warehouse. But if you want to create external table, then you have to use external keyword plus location keyword. It means if you want to store the table in some different place. Then how to load data? Load data, then in a brackets I have listed local in path. Local you use when you try to load data from your local file system. If you want to load data from your SDFS, do not use local keyword. In that case, the command will be load data in path, then in a single quotes give a file name. Overwrite is optional keyword into table, table name. Then how, what are different primitive data types in Hive, which are very common ones. Integer, big integer, string, boolean, double. The reason of uh, putting down all the this uh, small dots because we do have uh, some other data types available, which I haven't listed in this PPT. What are different complex data types which can store more than one value? These are array, map, struct. What are different DDL, data definition uh, language commands supported in Hive, which includes create command, show command, drop, describe, truncate, alter, use. Right, create command to create a database, show means to show tables, drop means to drop table, describe to know the structure, truncate to delete, alter to modify, used to use a particular database. Then how we can use, for what purpose we use alter command in Hive? We have a multiple use cases like rename, heading column, dropping column. We can also use change key, uh, keyword for renaming a column name and data type. What's the file location uh, which contain the Hadoop, right? Or the, what's the file name which contain the Hadoop location? It is hive-env.sh. Like in Hadoop, we have a one file available which is called hadoop-env.sh. Over there, that file contains Java home. In this case, Hive ENV contains the Hadoop location because as I've already told you, 
uh, Hive works on top of Hadoop and Hive wants to know where Hadoop is located. Partitioning, if you want, uh, partitioning meaning is dividing a table into small parts which contain relatable data uh, for which we use a keyword partitioned by. And in addition to it, while performing partitioning, you have to set this property with this set hive.exec.dynamic.partition equal to true. Then we have a bucketing, bucketing uh, for which we use the keyword clustered by. And again for bucketing, we have to set this property set hive.enforce.bucketing equal to true. Then we have a concept of views and indexes. View uh, having a same meaning, same syntax as of your regular SQL. So that's why I've written the usage of view in Hive is same as that of a view in SQL. How to, how to uh, like make use of this indexing? Uh, indexes actually uh, has been dropped in Hive now uh, in, the, in the newer version of Hive 3.x. We don't have indexes available, although the meaning of index is to improve the speed of query lookup on a certain columns of a table. So last point before we end up this video, it's called SERDE. So this survey or SERDE stands for serialization and deserialization. If you want to read some data which is out of the box, let's suppose you want to read JSON data, then we make use of this survey. So this survey allows the hive to read in data from a table and write it back out to the HDFS in any custom format. I hope guys with this short little video, you must have recall all the important points about Hive. In case if something is not clear, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.